Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Encrypted with ShadeX582. So, we've let this stuff go a little bit. We've got our nice little two blocks of coal coke here. So we can actually progress a little further. And we did do a little bit of inventory management. We uh, went to the nether and got some bone blocks also so that we could get some bone meal to get some of that dye uh because we got some grass outside so we just throw some bone meal on there and that's for later just doing a little bit of like you know mandatory type stuff so now we got access to this uh remote crafting that's actually really nice so let's see we we'll just throw this in here we made some more anisite alloy because today we're going to be looking into getting a little bit further into tech version one so now that we got our um cold coke we can of course start working on blast brick and that's just magma blocks with the cold coke and uh, some clay. So again, we have to melt down some clay. Not a problem. Got plenty of clay still. And we just need nine of these guys. Throw that into the old smelt tree there. Throw that back in there. Okay. And we should have a tank around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. It's the same tank we've been using. Boop, 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 boo. There we go. Fill that up with nine again. So the magic number is still nine. And we're going to need nine magma blocks. Uh, do we throw that in here? Yeah, we got we got a little bit of magma blocks here. This, there we go, like this. Put those back in there. Okay. And what we need to do is we're going to be pumping it into this guy so let's get our fluid cable back out and we really should look at uh, getting the multi-tool maybe upgrading our tool belt we'll see if we got enough episodes for that so yeah so that puts that in there and then we get though the magma block oh do we got the coal do we not get it out of here let's see yeah we got to get it out of here okay cool so we throw that there we go. Nine of those with nine of those. And it'll start creating it. So we can actually hit this up. Oh, did it already finish? Oh, no, it's just going that fast. Now look. Blast brick. Every time it touches it, it gets a blast brick. <laughs> like speeding stuff up with the the bottle of flowing time or whatever. There we go. One more. And boom. We now have last clicks, and we'll continue it. I think that uh, we'll put this one right here, right? Let's see. Yeah, sort of cozying up to that guy. There we go. All right. And let's complete the quest. Got yes, engineer hammer, but we really only need our right, engineer what? Screwdriver, but really only this guy right here. Bloop. Looking nice, looking nice. And now we can use the coal coke with some iron. And start to make us some steel. Look at that. Now that actually doesn't take so long. Not as long as it did for the coal coke. But in fact, while that's going, do we have any more coal that we can just throw? Oh, we got some in our inventory right there, don't we? Got some charcoal. Does it have to be coal? I can't remember. Let's see if it'll do charcoal. If not, we can get coal. It's just... Nah, it has to be coal. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Bloop. Throw another block in here. And we'll probably have to also pump out that, uh... Creosote oil that's in there. It will make us another tank. Not gank. There we go, basic tank. Easy peasy. Put this guy... I think we should be able just to take out anywhere, right? It shouldn't matter. Let's see... Where did I put it? I know I had it. Did I put it back into our system or something? Oh no, there it is. It's actually right here. Bloop! And... Ah, yeah, there we go. Crease with oil. Draining out. Excellent. And there we go. So now that's working on another block. And boom, we got us the steel ingot. Yas. That'll let us actually move into the next progression. Right? Oh no, no, what else do we need? 
brass casing. So we still need a brass casing. That's not bad. We can do that. That we just need a copper casing. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Right here. And let's remind myself how to get this a gun. Okay, yeah, so we just need some brass. Okay, and the the spout. So just 180 millibuckets. That creates one, you know, zinc and copper basically melted together. Okay. And we got some of that, I'm sure. Oh, we should just grab the copper right there, shouldn't we? Zinc. And copper. A boom. And we'll be able to pick this up again. Put this guy over here. And let's get ready to do the copper and zinc. And I guess we should wait until it mixes, right? Before we put that down. Otherwise, it could start draining one or the other before it mixes all together. There we go. Two brass ingots. Bloop. Is it not? Do I got something in here? Oh, no. It's just so small you can't see it. <laughs> okay. That's enough for one. That was 180. I saw it. So that should be enough for one. We will pump this into the spout and we'll put down the copper casing and let that go boom there we go so that's completes that okay coolio coolio now I believe we should be able to get into player progression right yes now we get the tech too cool which is a steel casing which this is gonna be kind of fun because we're gonna have to do a uh, well, not the first part, but we are going to have to do like a, a assembly line to get this further. So, and we only got one casing with that. Man. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to have to make a deployer. So, let's work on this here. I know I'm going to need at least three deployers. Right. Oh, Depolo. Uh, deployer. There we go. So, I know we're going to need three of these guys. And to make the hand... So that's, but we get the hand, one of the hands we get free. So we need to make at least 10 brass plates. Okay. Let's get our copper and zinc out. Zinc. Nice. And I like that it's raining outside, but we're in our nice cozy base, so we don't actually, you know, have to worry about it. Okay, copper and zinc. Maybe we should work on building this up a little bit too. Maybe we do something like that off of uh, off camera at some point. There we go. Oh wait, no, 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 not the steel. I, I was surprised they even melt that. Okay, there we go. But no, 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 we need the steel. And if you put that in there, you can't get it back out easily. So it's a good thing we caught that. Okay. Let's go get our tank again. I guess we could make just another tank for this, but it's not that big of a deal to keep running over here and getting it. Okay. Boom. Nice. Actually, we could just made this into a nugget. What am I doing? Pump this back in here. So we're gonna need some gold so we can create the uh, uh, what you caught for it, and we'll just use two gold. We'll use one for the, one for this, and then we'll use this gold, even though it's a little bit of a waste. I mean, we got, you know what, we got so much copper. We'll just use one of the copper ingots. Boom, put this gold back. It won't be wasteful, must be, it'll be wasteful with something we got a lot of, right? There we go. Oh, where's our spouts? Must have thrown them into our system. Uh, what are they called? Uh, these guys. Faucet. If it's not in there, then it's got to be in a backpack here. Faucet? Where are you, Faucet? Why can I not find you? Oh, there it is. Bloop. Alright, let's throw this guy in. Nice. And that one, of course, went 
right down into our chest, right? Well, actually, since that was, uh, that was used up during the process, so. We'll speed this up a little bit, watch this. Nice. And we'll put this down here. Speed this guy up. Nice. Okay. And then from there we can make a couple of these brass hands, right? Boom. And you get a free one, I believe, for making the first deployer. So we will wait. Oh, we got to make a crystal. I think that we actually... Did we not get some of these rose quartzes? Because there is a whole bunch of rose quartzes. I mean, we can make it or we can just go to the nether and mine it up. But I guess since we're here, we can just go ahead and make it. Uh, we need at least four or three. Three of them, that's right. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, really? Come on. Here we go. So that is eight redstone and a quartz. And we need at least three of them. So let's get 24 redstone. And three quartz. Come over here and get our time in a bottle ready. Because we'll speed this up. Is that guy still? Nah, he needs to get some more coal or something, huh? We got some on us. Let's feed him a little bit. Throw these in here. Throw that in there. Nice. Excellent, and now we got to make sandpaper. And we don't have any sand. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Mm hmm. But we do have paper. I did make some of that while I was trying to figure out how to filter some stuff, so. There we go. Oops. The sandpaper. Nice. We just throw this on the ground and just sandpaper it up. Look at us go. Throw that into our backpack. Man, that's getting... It is really coming down outside, man. For real. I'm hearing that. Alright. So now... Looking to make this thing... I need some andesite casings. Uh, wait. Make this thing first. That's going to require three iron sheets. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Put that in there. And while that happens, we'll make some wood frames. Three. Oh, we're going to need to make a lot of these, huh? Okay. Boom. That'll make two. Hmm. Uh oh, I just used all of it. That's fine. Used. One, two, three. Oh, missing some wood. I'll use that again. It's using up that other wood. That's why. Oh, we gotta do some here. Let's see. Blake O'Glock. Go. Put that in there. Now we make that last one. Okay. And let's take our andesite. We actually need to make another one. Make one of these guys. And one of these guys. Cool. 
Let's get our andesite up. There we go. Nice. Pick up rows. Oops. <laughs> okay, so should be able to create this thing now. One, two, three. Boom. And one of these should get us a free hand from. Yep, there we go. And now we can make two more of these, right? Bloop. Cool. Okay, so. Need a belt too. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to run everything off the same uh, process, so, which means we're going to need to use belts to sort of transport the power around, the rotational power. But for the time being, I uh, probably want to set that up first, don't we? Where the belt's going to be and stuff. Let's see, how do I want to work this? Do I want to just work it off of this and have the power come down from the machines instead of feeding the belt from there? I guess we can. Okay, so let's get us another cog. Go. All right. And another big cog, too. And how we're going to draw this power out from here is we can use this guy with one of these, right? Hold on. These go above it. I think. Or do we just want to use a machine gearbox? I'm trying to think of this because we need to get this to. No, we need to get it on top of it. And we need to make another one for what I'm thinking of. Can I get it on top of it from here? I cannot. I'm going to have to make a little block stand to get up there. Okay, well, let's put this in here. Uh, we could drop out some of these jungle blocks. There we go. Put a big boy right there. there we go. And then we'll put another big boy beside it. I'm not too worried about the stress because I'm pretty sure that that's going to handle all this rather easily. So, okay. So now, that being said, we can put our deployer up against that, right? Uh, let's pull this. Let's put these up. And we're going to need to bring down our thing here. Okay. Come on. Ugh. Alright. <laughs> it's going to be difficult places and stuff, I guess. Um, let's put this here, put this here. And then we'll put, like, two more. Because I think that's what the problem was. Alright. That being said, now... There we go. Now let's rotate this guy the right way. There we go. Okay. How are we going to get an assembly belt right there, though? Oh, no. We'll just pull it from that down this way. Okay. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. I guess we can pull that out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's rotate these guys. I had a, you know this rotation thing is... <laughs> it's crazy. That one's right. That's <laughs> gotta get like eh. 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 Eventually it'll rotate the right way, man. There we go. Okay. So, we need a belt that's going to come right here, though. Hmm. Because the belt would need to come here. Which means we would need a rod right here. Alright. Oh, I guess we could put the rod right there. See. 
I don't have any. Odd. Okay, so we need one right here. Rotate that guy. There we go. And one right here. That's a belt. And then we could put our saw dude right below that. But for the time being, let's just get a belt over here, right? So we're going to need to, basically, I think what we'll do is we will put this guy here and draw this guy out over here. And then we should be able to belt that like so. Okay. But is it going the right way? Yeah, it looks like it's going the right way. We don't have to do another cog right here or anything. Okay, cool. All right. So we need to make another thing of kelp, which means we need water and stuff. Mm-hmm. Hydrogen. Boop. Got plenty of oxygen up in here. And we will take some water. Like so. Nice. Odd, but okay. Nice. Okay, we'll just... There. Put our oxygen back in here. Did it throw water in there? Do I have water in one of these things? Or did I just not pick it up out of this? Okay, I didn't pick it up out of that. Okay. And then the other one is Celios, right? Yeah. To create kelp. There we go. Boom, boom. Nice. Another Enough for another belt. Now, you can't use the uh, molten lava one to burn these because it'll actually just burn it into dust. So. We'll use this, but we will sp speed it up. Because we are impatient. There we go. Make us another belt. Boom. Right? And we'll take the belt from here to there. Oh, we gotta make another belt. So that we can get that from there to there. Okay. Crazy me, crazy me. And I think we only have two other kelp, or uh, uh, dried kelp in here too, right? If any. Do we put it in here? No. Oh, we just have to make some more kelp. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Not that hard. We'll get like a stack of wood. Bloop. And then we'll get another stack of hydrogen. Oh, we're like out of hydrogen? Hmm. I mean, we could just melt down some of this stuff, really. Plenty of hydrogen. Throw that real quick. I have extra oxygen, but it is what it is. There we go. There we go. And another stack to create a whole stack of water. Okay. Boom. There we go. Easy peasy. Oops. I guess it is two hydrogen hydrogen dioxide, not di hydrogen oxide di or whatever. Um, gloop. There we go. And we'll put this up here. We'll do our cellulose as well. Boop. This back in there. Got plenty of that now. Help. Boom, boom. Ah, boom. Noise. Come over here and we'll burn this up. Mm, there we go. Another belt. And we're probably going to need one last belt too for. Or maybe not. We'll see. There we go. Yeah, and that's going the right way. 
little assembly line busting out now. Look at that. Ooh. Looking good. And just because we know we're going to need it. And let's, let's cut this guy off too. Boom. Nice. Um, just because we know we're going to need it, we're going to need the saw, right? Boom. Okay, so that's three iron plates and iron. Sure. And three iron. Here. We'll put some stuff up from our inventory real quick. Uh, we'll let that go into our storage. Yeah. Put this stuff up here. Okay. So now, should be able to make our saw. Nice. Alright, and if we stick this guy right here, now which way do we need to have this thing turned? I'm not 100%. I don't remember exactly. Can we create like two belts here? Or I think if we stick... Okay, I think I have an item. So we just stick this guy right here, right? And we extend this belt. Alright. So we have another one. Here. Boom. A boom. Alright, so now it's turning all those, but is it turning this one the right way is the question. So if we feed... Or if we just, like, throw one on there, right? Like, if we just... Hold on. We come up here and just be like, blue. Nah, it's feeding it the wrong way. Okay. So we need to have this turned. How are we going to do that? A gearbox, maybe? I don't know. That's kind of nuts. Because that's going to have to turn the other way opposite from what this is feeding it. Mm. How indeed. We'd have to put some kind of gear in there. I mean, this one is feeding the same way as well. Kind of, this thing right here is kind of in the way, if I'm being honest. Maybe should have moved this over. Or I guess we could do that. Give this thing enough space, right? Let's see. Shouldn't take too long to move this over. I'll move this over and I'll bring you guys right back. Alright, we're back. So, basically got this sorted out here. Uh, probably it was a more efficient way of doing this instead of using these belts and cocks and stuff. But now we got this thing turning the right way. We got these guys going the right way as well. I probably can move this belt back, actually. Maybe it'll look a little better. Let's see. Here, nope, nope, there you go. Uh, that's where it, can I go back one more? I think that's it right there, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we've got our assembly line set up. So all that just to do this first step. I mean, we really didn't need it to do the first step, but what we're going to do to the next progression, right, is it wants us to get a steel casing, which isn't a big deal. I'll get that completed. All it is is just having a deployer hit a brass casing with a steel plate so we'll get us a steel plate because we do have some steel up this guy right here noise we'll put this in this hand right here and we'll get our brass casing right here Boop. oh ah uh, okay we got a shift click no gotta figure out oh we gotta throw it in there that's right oh, oh god <laughs> there we go okay Oh, the saw, the saw got me. Okay, so that's one. I'll just throw this guy. Bloop. Nice. Yank that off of the line. Now, looky here. Got us a steel casing. So, we could also use this assembly line to make our um, upgrade to this, which the next thing is, if you look here, for us anyway, is going to be this machine frame. So that's what we'll look into getting next. Or maybe we'll do the uh, metallurgic infuser because that actually just requires some osmium and that. We, we have everything we need for that actually right now, I'm sure. So let's see. Uh, infuser, we'll say. 
should be chemical infuser. Yeah, metallurgical air infuser. We can just boom. And look at this. We have made our first machine from mechanism. Excellent. Noise. So I think we'll do our mechanism room maybe like over there. Uh, kind of away from this because this is our create area, right? And we got like our smeltery over here already anyway, so got enough space in here where we can use some of it up so but anyway guys i think that that was a uh, that was actually pretty good right we progressed a bit we got our little steam engine really putting in work now with all the stress that it's probably going through in order to keep all of these machines going but it's working and there's no problems so i'm not going to complain and uh we got our our steel forge right here or whatever the blast furnace is actually working on creating steel we got eight steel ingots excellent so we can progress further on and next time hopefully we're going to be working on a, maybe stay away from the quest a little bit maybe start sorting out how we're going to deal more with our inventory because this storage this uh, simple storage is great and we're probably going to keep that for a while but as far as like where we're going to keep all the stuff that we want to have on us because our backpack is getting kind of full and this is a gold backpack and we could upgrade our backpack or we could look into doing something with this so anyway guys hope you enjoyed the episode if you did, go ahead and leave a like, comment if you got any suggestions or something that you would like to see me do. And if you really enjoyed the episode and you want to see me do more of these, you want to motivate me to do them faster, go ahead and leave a subscribe. Yeah, it'd be good for me. And then, as always, have a great day.